Hello, folks. You're listening to WPVM 103.7 in Asheville. You can listen to us online at WPVMFM.org. This is Busker Broadcast, and we have Kane Cubed with us. And they are really, really awesome. You want, you want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, um, I'm Megan. I'm TJ. And I'm Topher. Um, I'm, uh, Megan plays the flute. I don't even know how to put my text. Yeah, TJ plays the saxophone. And I play the tuba. <laughs> awesome. Um, so how long have you been busking and... Okay. I have... We have been just busking uh, so about almost two... No, a year now. Um, maybe two years. Uh, but it all started when we had to go to Carnegie Hall in eighth grade. And uh, it, we had to raise money for that. And that was, um, that's when it all started. And we saw buskers busking downtown. So we were like, oh, maybe we should try that one sometime. And we did. And it, went, it didn't go as well the first time as it went the second time. The first time it was super windy and all our music was down the street. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Yeah. Did, did it make you nervous the first time? Yeah. It, it, I mean, there was a lot of, there wasn't really uh, a lot of people watching us, luckily. Um, but, uh, which I don't, I mean, it's not really luckily now, but, uh, it was, it was nerve wracking the first few minutes, but then once we got into the vibe of, um, busking, it got a lot better and it was easier to go out there and play. Yeah. And now you're regulars. You're about, you're out almost every uh, almost weekend. Almost every or... weekend. Almost. Uh, we, some, some weekends we have stuff to do, so we yeah. can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, life is life. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you feel like you're really well received in Asheville as far as busking? Um, yeah, there's a few, there's been a few people saying I've seen you on the news or I've seen you on TV, which is really great because that means we're there, we're getting our names out there and, uh, people know somehow, somewhat who we are. We have a Facebook page and that's, sh- that can get our name out there and it's a lot of people like us, which is good. Yeah. Kane Cubed on Facebook. Look him up, like him, follow him, see what's going on. Cane cube, both K and K. Cane cubed. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, y'all want to play us a song? Sure. Yeah. This awesome. is Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Thank 
interesting things I would say actually um and uh it's just been a great experience in a whole perfect so your first time busking was your your notes going down the street <laughs> did it it didn't seem to deter you at all from continuing to come out I think actually that actually helped us become better buskers because it showed us that um busking isn't as easy as it may seem to people like it's not just oh pick up your instruments and go to the street you have to get the music together you have to get people together and it's a lot different than what people would imagine awesome awesome perfect um so as you've been out do you have like a favorite tip anything interesting or a funny story? Um, oh, well, actually, yeah. It's a so funny. Okay. Uh, one time we were busking, and uh, it was another windy day. We've had a lot of those. And Topher was picking up um, some music. Oh. Or not, no, he was actually, like, putting, uh, just taking some of the money out of the um, uh, case. And, uh, <laughs> uh, well, TJ's stand fell on Topher, and then one guy tried to help him pick up the stand, and dropped lemon a lemonade on him <laughs> <laughs> those things happen <laughs> it was really interesting <laughs> um where do you find the inspiration for your music like how do you pick out what songs you're gonna play um well basically uh we'll start on a song and then my dad will listen to it you know say yes or no to it and usually um it's we we have like the mamas and the papas, the Beatles, and uh, we're hopefully getting more other like um, 60s, 70s, and 80s songs because normal songs like like or uh, original songs that are right now are rap, and we don't really want that on our repertoire. <laughs> so, what, what happens when you say yes and your dad says not so much? Uh, we find a different song, yeah, or we make it to his approval. Most of the time, it's based on the genre of the song or the piece itself, uh, not just the uh, how it's composed. Most of the time, what we do is um, one of us will find a piece online, a piano score, and uh, one of us will transpose it. Generally, Megan. Mm. Um, I've transposed a few, but she's transposed most of them. So all the music you hear is us performing is composed or arranged, not composed, because someone already composed it, arranged by Megan, I, or Topher. So... None of it's originally what it used to be. Can I, can I make a request for a song? Sure. Uh, Down the Road, Maple Leaf Rag by Scott Joplin. Did you do that at all? No, I, did, I know Scott Joplin, but we haven't done oh, that. Oh, the Maple yet. Leaf Rag. That was the number one hit song in 1899. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, it is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really great one. It's a great one. I love that song. It is a great one. one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back when I was in grade school. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so um, y'all y'all are triplets, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So y'all are in the same grade. Yes. What grade are you in? Ninth. Ninth. Ninth grade. And what do your classmates think about what you're doing? Uh, most of them don't know about it unless they're in band, because uh, we don't. I wouldn't say we don't associate with people outside of band, but. Um, most of our friends are in band. <laughs> 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 Wait, we keep that, it that real around here. That didn't come out right. Oh, keep talking. You're digging yourself in. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, but, um, like, we've had a few friends we see downtown. Uh, most of the people don't hang out around downtown, but yeah. we've seen a few friends downtown. They think it's pretty cool because... Um, and they give us money, and they just hang out, and we see some regulars come down, like, every other week and or so, and they're super supportive of us. Cool. And it's hilarious to watch people realize that we're triplets. It's like, what? Because <laughs> we don't look like anything alike. Because we have different hair colors, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what about your parents? Your parents play any music? Um, my dad played plays and played um, piano, guitar, and flute. And um, uh, my mom played clarinet. And, um, yeah, so I think that helped us become the musicians we are. That's awesome. Do do your parents ever sit in with you? Um, well, I mean, we've got, we've tried to get our dad to, um, come and play guitar with us if we don't have enough parts, but he just doesn't really want to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe, maybe maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe one day. We'll poke. We'll poke, I'll poke at him. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, of course you can. I have a question for Topher. Yes. Who weighs more, you or the tuba? <laughs> I weigh more. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's Very not as heavy as it looks. Okay. It's only about yes, 45, it is 35 pounds. I see the kinds of things I worry about. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the same about the same weight, actually. But they just look heavier than they are. But I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're, you're going to be going to... to Camp, right? Yeah, I'm going to the Brevard Music Center. It's a seven week long institute down in uh, Brevard. Uh, there's a total of 80 concerts, and I'm going to be there for seven weeks. Wow. Um, over the summer. So I want to be wow. with these guys. Yeah. yeah, so it means that y'all two need to come and sit in with us some. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have lots, of, lots of bands that could use a tuba. Oh, <laughs> I know. I know. And flute. Flute's great. Yes. It's, I mean, I it's got such a nice, clear <laughs> melody line. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Yeah, definitely y'all need to come sit in. And when you get back in town, you too. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> I think it'd be great. You know, and we won't go full force right off. Yeah. <laughs> <We won't. laughs> Thank you. But, um, yeah, so what's your favorite song to busk with? Well, now mine is, what is this even called? Don't Stop Believing. Because I made it, and it sounds really good. And, um, <laughs> and there's a lot of cool parts to it, like this one part where I have, like, two, three, four, five rounds. measures of 16th notes, and then, um, like, really, really, really fast. It's super fast. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun to play. Well, there you go. There <laughs> you, you go. <laughs> you want to play one for us? Sure. Yeah, um, yeah California? Okay, this is California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. Thank you. 
What uh, kind of songs are you guys working on right now? Uh, most, um, mostly we're just trying to expand our repertoire to include um, things other than the classical pieces that we have. Um, we've gotten suggestions to incorporate um, like more ragtime um, pieces, more folkish tunes, um, just including different genres of music to encompass all of the um, likes that people have. Um, I know that there's a lot of ragtime bands out busking, you yes. know, and, and mm -hmm. so, yeah, ragtime would be a good one for busking mm -hmm. if you're wanting to float around and sit in with some other groups, too. Yeah. Also, you know, it's inevitable. It's, uh, at some point, someone's going to yell Freebird. Yes, yeah. we have that actually you have that, three you have times. That under your repertoire? <laughs> no, because no, you just busted straight into the solo. <laughs> People would be like, wow, you're just some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vaden's been doing that on the kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's busting into it on kazoo. Why not? <laughs> and then and then after that you have to learn stairway to wagon wheel. That's right. <laughs> stairway to wagon wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah. Um do you have any favorite buskers out that you've seen or any acts that you really, really appreciate? Well I think she's talking on the microphone right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, but like, what about, what about, um, other musicians that have been kind to you and well, helped out? me, myself, I enjoy, uh, Bobby the saxophone player, mostly because he's a saxophone player. There you and go. he's been here for a while. Um, he's our senior street yeah. performer. Yeah. He's been out here the longest wow. out of oh, all wow. of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's been, uh, giving me tips on how to play louder and how to quit moving like Kenny G. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's been trying to. Help me out. Yeah, he's he's a real yeah. he's he's the real deal, and he he's played with some heavy hitters in the past, mm -hmm. and and I a hundred percent respect him in any any and every which way mm -hmm. for what he does and the effort that he puts into it. And I'm I'm really really excited that you guys have been coming out on a regular because very rarely do you see groups as dedicated as y'all are mm -hmm. at your age yeah. mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's an extremely rare thing usually folks lose use lose their fuel mm -hmm. pretty quick mm -hmm. or they get distracted yeah. but y'all seem extremely focused yeah. and you're in charge of your own thing you know i talked mm -hmm. to your mom about stuff and she's like i'll talk to them that's their deal <laughs> well the reason why we're mostly focused is because of our mom you kind of Gets us up the, she kind of gets us up in the morning and gets us places where we need to be. But uh, as she explained, it's kind of like our job. It's how we make our money. It's how we. It's ha how a lot of people who busk live on. It's just what we do. And busking's one hundred percent of my income. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been that way for about a decade, and I I love every little bit of it. Uh, and and people watching too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys experience a lot of interesting. Things <laughs> watching folks. Yes. <laughs> There's definitely some interesting wildlife around here. Um, have, nice way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about about busking in other cities just to try it out? Um, well, I mean, I, we don't really know about many cities, their regulations, and if if we ever got the chance to, that would be awesome because. New experiences bring new challenges and also bring new people in our lives, and it's an amazing, it's an amazing thing to do. Awesome. Well, if if you're ever wanting to know rules and regulations for other cities, I am a catalog for a lot of that <laughs> yeah. stuff, and I, okay. I could probably point in the right direction. Okay. I feel like folks would receive you really well in other areas mm -hmm. too. I, I I honestly do. I think you would do really well in New Orleans, even. Um, I, I I really do. Yeah. Um, New Orleans, they really like horns. <laughs> <laughs> so you get those, and uh, tubas. Yes. So the tubas. Do oh my goodness, Trumpets yeah. and tubas. All, all those ragtime bands cool. floating around on Royal Street are consistently looking for a tuba yeah. player. <laughs> it's not mine. It's <laughs> <laughs> nice decoration. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like it's a decoration. <laughs> it does. It's kind of yeah. even, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so do you all play any other instruments? Uh, well, okay, so basically how I started, uh, how we kind of started getting into music, is I found my dad's flute in the um, closet in my room, and 
then Megan got jealous. So then she picked up the flute and started playing it. So that's kind of how she got into that. So I kind of was forced to pick a different instrument. So I picked saxophone. Topher uh, played trombone and then switched to tuba. Uh, no he, trombone he, for it was you. Not good. Man. Yeah, he he likes he likes tuba a lot better. Yeah, now. I was not the best trombone player. <laughs> just put it that way. Uh, some people say, "Oh, you were pretty good." I'm like, "No, I wasn't." No. But. Yeah, but uh, we're all trying to kind of learn different instruments. I kind of play some flute. We all dabble around with the clarinet that Frankie has at home. Our little brother. Yeah, so we're t- trying to learn different instruments and expand our... Horizons. Horizons. <laughs> now, now, how old's your little brother? He is 10. ten. And when's he going to start coming out? That's a good question. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> hey, man. When you leave, you'll come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, he'll <laughs> raise me. Yeah. No, but <laughs> I'm trying to get him. He's trying. To, he's really desperate trying to... Uh, find something that he can incorporate into the act so he can yeah, like, come hang uh, out we, with us. Yeah, we have yeah. these videos that we put on Facebook sometimes. We've only had two so far, but of us, like, improving, like, just yeah. playing just like playing random things. And, like, the first time um, he was the dancer, the background dancer when we were playing. <laughs> it was really it was really interesting. And this oh, most, recent, <laughs> most recent one, he wasn't in it, but he liked it. So. <laughs> I'm really looking for him now. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hope he makes it out, because that would be awesome. Yeah. You know, the the more the merrier, really. I mean, because, you know, ha- letting letting folks realize that not all buskers are, you know, that drunk guy with two strings on their guitar <laughs> and the people down the street is an extremely important thing. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, putting a voice to to the names and... and you know, putting a voice um, to to the performers and letting folks hear those stories mm-hmm. and understand where people come from is is really really important. And it creates community and gets people talking to each other and lets people understand mm-hmm. a little mm-hmm. bit why people do what they do and yeah. why they come out. You know, and y'all are just extremely driven musicians who love music mm-hmm. and do what you do, and thus you want to share it. Yeah. And yeah. here you are. And, you know, hopefully the next guy that's listening to this is going, oh, man, maybe I should try it out, you know, and we can hear him, too. And I find it's important to get uh, younger people, younger buskers out there. Yes. Because it shows um, a new generation it also cares about the music. Um, I, there's all, all generations obviously care about the music, but um, it's especially important for younger kids to understand the importance of music and see how it affects other people's lives when they get out there and then they can relate to other people while they're playing. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You want to play me another one? Sure. sure. Oh. This is also, well, this is a Beatles song. This is Help. Tell me you have Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Have you had any uh, issues at all coming out busking? Like, um, okay. Uh, well, we've had one. Uh, I think I. I mean, yeah, one. I would say. Uh, it was just we were. Um, we were at Rollsworth, and then this other busker was at the Flatiron, yeah. and um, he, we apparently were playing a little too loud, and um, so we, he, uh, they told us that we should be a little bit quieter, move to a different place or something, so I um, am not good with com- contra- contra- confrontation, thank you, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I would start to cry, so I started crying. <laughs> So, but we resolved the issues. And we stayed. Good. <laughs> Good. You aren't loud. I know I'm twice as loud as y'all are, and I put it well worth all the time. The only other issue, it wasn't really an issue. It was more of a um, forgetful thing. We accidentally uh, didn't say thank you one time, and they left a note for us, but we learned for that and kept playing it. So. Could have been all right. Song, so. No, the all only right. Issue. I need to complain about that, though. You're complaining to Windows. Yeah. Right? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you need a little bell or something. Yes, that's yeah. what I was thinking about, because that's what you do. We're going to have Frankie do that. We're going to have Frankie do that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You sit up like this. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We figured it out. <laughs> Frankie do that. Awesome. Just play the <laughs> Oh, great. Okay, so do you think that... Um, you guys are going to be booking indoors coming up? I mean, we you do have, a little bit, right? Yeah, we have gotten offers to um, go play for people who haven't followed up on them yet, but we're going to do that. Um, uh, we've gotten, we've been, uh, some uh, street vendors have given us, like, suggestions on uh, go ask this, uh, this certain place to go um, and play because you're providing them free music, but I find it's better to pr- provide them free music because then they could hear it, um, and then you wouldn't have to pay for it. It's just, and you're just trying to share your gift, so. Right. Uh, yes, we have been offered, so we're going to take you up on those offers, hopefully, and see what we can do. Awesome. Now, y'all are going to be playing Pritchard Park in August, right? Yes. 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 Yeah? <laughs> awesome. Yes. It's yeah, so we'll be posting those dates on the collective page, uh, Asheville Buskers <laughs> collective page, and on the Busker broadcast page. Let okay. folks know that you're going to be playing get some people out there um there are a handful of of venues here that i know would love you mm-hmm. and i would be happy to forward those names to you jacob we, yeah. also you would like we have to make sure that the reason we haven't been following up is also because he's going to brevard over the yeah. summer so we wanted to <laughs> wait till he was done with that so that we had a, an open time for him right yeah, it only makes sense. And that seems like a really intense camp that you're going to. Uh, yeah, it's um, uh, it's just an it's basically an institute. It's a world-renowned camp like Yo Yo Ma has performed there before. Wow. So um, <coughs> there's only a select few amount of people who go. It's both college and high school. Um, uh, and like I think they're expanding the saxophone studio to incorporate at least six saxophones this year. Mm-hmm. Oh. One thing. So uh, yeah, we're trying to. Um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I get to, there's 80 concerts, so, um, but it's actually a classical, um, camp. Uh, so they play everything from Beethoven to Bach to Mozart, so it's going to be super fun. Awesome. I, I don't think I've ever been to music camp. <laughs> I went to, I went to Western camp, Sanborn Western camp in Colorado, and that, that that's what I did when I was your age. <laughs> Well, no, actually, when I was in ninth grade, I was in boarding school. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's oh. a music camp in Hickory. Oh, yeah? yeah there is. Where's the music camp in Hickory? Oh, that, now I wish I hadn't said that because I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> we put you on the spot there. But call Tony Altora and he'll tell you all about it. It's Hickory Music Factory. Awesome. Um... So you had, have have you had any issues with finding space to play here? We have had a f- that a few times. Uh, I think actually this most recent time we were gonna go busking at Woolsworth, but uh, I think there was somebody there or somebody setting up or packing up. We don't really know which one because it looks the same either way. And then um, <laughs> and then uh, 
there was um at the same same thing with uh the iron but um it looked like they were packing up and they were leaving so then we drove to see if there's anybody at grove arcade and there was so then we drove back to uh the uh, flat iron and there wasn't anybody there luckily so we could play there awesome awesome Y'all don't, I don't hardly ever see y'all waiting in line like other folks. You, you just kind of find we just an like, open spot. We just spot like and... sneak in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. small enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm always waiting in line. You see me sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. I need to start bringing some sewing or something to do. Um, so. Sewing? Sewing. <laughs> <laughs> I need, no, I'm serious. I need aprons. All of my clothes have this awful grease stain right on my knee where I smack the spoons. And it's, <laughs> I'm telling you, I really, really need. Apron. Yeah. <laughs> no, all, all my clothes have that smudge right there. All of them. Every single one. Um, so, do you guys feel like the stage would, is a, a more nervous would that make you more nervous than playing on the street uh well we're more used to playing on the street uh i feel the stage would be kind of uh, it, there's more direct uh contact with the people because um they have it like a set thing they want to hear um whereas the, the pe- people walking downtown they'll listen to anything yeah you listen get it more. yeah yeah well, and, have to explore yeah <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like they can decide oh I, I like to hear this so i can listen to it um and so it's kind of just, I feel that the busking is a less direct route, but it seems to have more appreciative um, to, to the uh, audience than the stage. We haven't really performed on a stage very much, so we wouldn't really know the difference. Well, well we have, I mean, like at school, we have played it on like, but uh, played like on a stage, like with the school, but we haven't like directly played just us three. I mean, we've right. played at the veterans quarters um down there uh, uh where is it Oteen. Oteen, down in Oteen. um and we played there for the veterans because uh, uh lloyd tj saxophone um teacher was doing a jazz uh th- theory class there for them and uh so we played there with him oh that's cool that's pretty cool um hmm. Why don't you all play us another one? This is I Dreamed a Dream from Les Miserables. I think I said that right. Classical er piece. Yeah, this is a different style, genre. One, two, three. Thank you. 
That's awesome. I've seen that musical several times. I love it. Yeah, I I really do love that musical. Um, so when you guys come out to busk, do you just play one set or you play a couple sets? Uh, well, we have a total of about 35, 40 minutes of songs, uh, which is one set. And so we usually play that maybe three-ish times, which is two hours. Um, we some we do uh, now that we're at finally uh, getting to the point where we don't need as much sheet music because we've played the songs so many times um, that we're getting to the point where we can if the music does start to fall or fly away or whatever it does wants to do that day um, it we know where we're where at least where we what we can play and what it sounds like so we can uh, build on upon that awesome. Awesome. Yeah, and, and now that you're working on improv stuff, you know, it, I feel like that's going to open up a few new doors for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are, are you pretty excited about doing all that? Yeah, mostly uh, since we're not used to improv on chords, we're mostly just picking the key and just kind of working with that. Yeah. Um, and like, we'll start a beat, and then someone will join in, and then we'll just kind of structure it off of that and just uh-huh. work off of that. It sounds really cool. There. It sounds really cool. I want to start and a I beat. And I think we should do that today. Yeah. I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The first time we did it, which was... Last night. No, two, no, nights two nights ago. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. The first time <laughs> I've ever improv was two, two nights, nights ago, ago, and then... We were running around the house. It was like twelve, almost 12 o'clock at night, and we're and running we're around the house. Improv, and improvising, and uh, then we go improv on the street the next day. It's yeah. my, my fourth time doing it, and then it was on the street. So mm. It was a little weird. A lot of people loved it. And we got, uh, this dude was like, I love your improv, and they was talking about the Asheville Community Band and see if they wanted, if we wanted to play in that. Oh, wow. The, the, ch- uh, the trick to improv is to turn off that part of your brain that's like... Sheet music. Uh, well, it's uh, self-criticism. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, you can't be like analyzing yourself every second. Because mm-hmm. I do that still, and I'm like, oh, you know. Yeah. But when I turn it off, and I just kind of let it flow, then yeah, it's much better that way. Just, just don't think too hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Over, overthinking music stunts music. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, that, that's a very, that's a great point. <laughs> Billy Scribbles here is a very, very smart man. <laughs> <laughs> make very foolish decisions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, smart has nothing to do with choices. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the next tattoo. <laughs> right here, all the curses. Yeah. That's a bumper sticker but you waiting spell to happen. It wrong. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh man. Well, so you come back from from Brevard, August. I come back August second, and then I have marching band things up until school starts. So I get about a week of summer to myself. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, that is cool. super busy. Oh, super tough. super busy. Good good. Well, we got 15 minutes left if you guys want to play another song. Okay, we're going to do improv. Oh, good. (laughs) See, Topher, Topher, told you. That noise is me being excited. (laughs) (laughs) That's you. You're on top of timing. That's true. You had to do it last time. That's fine. You've done it. This is the fifth time, so. Mom says improv. (laughs) <laughs> oh, mom says improv is yes. for him. Okay. It's like our fifth time doing it, so. Sixth time. Go. <laughs> no, no promises. Go. Thank you. 
session number two it is <laughs> so so let me ask you this question um, how do you feel and why do you feel and how do you feel like busking should be preserved like what are the things that would make this work better for everybody keep it working better for everybody Let's go. um Okay, well, uh, I think... It's a good question. Um, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank here. Um. <laughs> Can you restate the question in a different, <laughs> in a different way? Oh, no, well, no, I, I, you know, my, my question is, 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 you know, we have, you know, like, busking in and of itself has kind of been in the news a lot, and it's mm -hmm. kind of been under the spotlight. Yeah. And, and because of that, the words, you know, the word permit has been thrown mm -hmm. around. Yeah. Um, Luck. <laughs> and and other other such phrases and things and so my question is 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 how do you feel we can keep busking the way it is what what are the things that we as buskers can do to preserve what we are doing so that your children can come out and do this too um i feel one of the main things that's been going on is overcrowding when it comes to busking like there's someone on every corner um, and I think one thing they're trying to do is put boxes in areas where people can perform. I feel that puts a limit on where, uh, I, I understand that it's a difference in uh, noise ordinances and like you can't like do this, but it, it just seems that putting certain specific places where someone can busk, it, it just doesn't seem right because then other, pe other people are going to have to be waiting in line for a specific spot the whole time. Right. And uh, it's just a bunch of collaborative is what has been going on for quite a while. Like when we had the problem with the one person, we worked it out and it seemed to work fine and there was no problems with it. No one had a problem with it. And then we all worked it out. So I think that um, putting boxes in places tends to... Um, box and everything yeah but yeah it just it just tends to group everything together and just doesn't make it as original and it's kind of like putting chains on something and actual doesn't seem to like change very much and no. so it, it just seems that it just takes away from actual's originality and it's freedom also with the boxes thing is that if you have a large group or multiple people playing like like your band if it was like you had more people then it could, if you were stepped outside the box, or if you had a large area, then, then that could, and then you get a ticketed or something for for that, then that could cause a lot of problems. Also, yeah, sometimes I'm down there with a, a five piece band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? um, have you ever bust in Hendersonville before? No. no. They have tiny little white dots on the ground. You gotta and pay attention to see them. Yeah, you, you really got to look for the white dots because most of them are about faded away. Mm -hmm. And and you're supposed to stand within those white dots and be within those white dots. And, you're, and some of those boxes aren't even facing where the traffic is mm -hmm. walking. Really? Yeah. So you're busking to the cars that are driving <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like question mark. Giving you, you, you a thumbs up, like yeah, the cars are like that. Thumbs up, and you as they drive by, but like yeah, they're right. not the ones tipping you. And yeah. then behind you, there's like a garden, and then the sidewalk. People just walking by, like taking pictures from afar, and keep going. Yeah. It's not intelligently designed, I don't think. Right. Well, you know, and and I, I think Hendersonville has this this little bit of a fear amongst them that they they don't want it to become Asheville. You know, and 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 Sorry, and putting on a tight leash, right, right, and so so they're very specific about where you can and cannot be, but but they they use that system, and it doesn't work very well yeah. there. Because I haven't heard very many people busk, I haven't heard many people busking down in Hendersonville at all. So I think that like that, if you did that, because busking is a huge cultural part of Asheville, so if you put 
like, because Hendersonville probably would have more buskers if, like you said, they don't have those boxes. Right. So, and I think that limiting us or limiting busking would cause a huge downfall in the culture of Asheville. Yeah, I, I think any any restrictions pretty much do. Yeah. Um, any time that you put a limit on anything, of course, it's going to limit mm-hmm. it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that's just the nature of the game, huh? Uh, I'm hoping we can keep Asheville permit free, yeah. and we can continue to keep it permit free, so that folks coming through can can play. Yeah. Um, as a you know the most of the folks that come through Asheville do to play music don't live here. They don't live mm-hmm. in the county. Um, some of them don't even live in the state. Um, and so it would be really sad to just stop that yeah. from happening. Have you ever noticed how many people walking through downtown Asheville are carrying cameras? Yeah. And what do they like to take pictures of? The buskers. Buskers. Yes. <laughs> Very much it would so. also improve camera cells. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should be talking to the camera shops now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we know what we do for you. <laughs> <laughs> No you know who we think we are. <laughs> well, <clears throat> hopefully this communication will continue to, to happen, you know, and the collective, um, hopefully with the presence of the Buskers Collective, there can continually be communication between performers and we can keep pushing the issue that we should be talking to one another and hopefully that'll lessen up. And I think it has some of the competition that's out there. It doesn't feel quite like competition yeah. compared to other cities to me. Because we're talking to each other instead of somebody wanting my spot, it's my friend wanting to play next. Yeah. You know, it, it just feels different. And it makes a huge difference in the music and the way everything is. We got ten minutes left if you guys want to play one more. Um, so this is Shenandoah. What's going to happen is T- Topher's going to play, and then TJ's going to come in, and then I'm going to come in. Yeah. <laughs> choice is kind of makes me smile a little bit because <laughs> because it is not age appropriate mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> you know it, it's it's a little bit of like me uh, imagining you going through your parents cds mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> is that what's going on uh no i actually uh we <laughs> we had uh we it's like on youtube they come up with re- related links yeah and, uh like uh sometimes like if you go to 
the mobs and the pop was something for the Beatles will show up. And eventually you just like run through different songs. And, um, yeah, and I actually, uh, yeah, uh, you yeah, end up looking at some giraffe video or something. But um, yes. I, um, I had actually known this song, so I'd heard it. I don't remember where I'd heard it from, but, uh, and I kind of, I just chose it because it sounded nice. And um, a lot of the songs we have gotten requests from, uh, we're working on putting into our repertoire because it doesn't just happen overnight. <laughs> some of them actually do. Um, oh, but, I did. Post yeah. Hours. But <laughs> but um, a lot of the time we just find pieces that we enjoy and we think that people will enjoy also, yeah. and we just kind of choose them based on the sound. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. Okay. Um, Y'all want to tell the folks who you are and how to find you on the internet, real quick. Um, we are Kane Cube once again, and uh, we have a Facebook. Page uh, Kane Cubed K A N E Q Q K U B E D so K A N E K U B E D it's a little bit different than cubed um, <laughs> but um, we're triplets and we put um, our upcoming events and events that we that have happened in a bunch of videos on Facebook to show what we are up to. Awesome. All right. And I'll be archiving this so that you guys can have a copy. Oh, that's awesome. And post it around, do what you want with it. <laughs> um, hopefully, sometime you'll all be having some recordings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Let us know so we can post about that, too. Okay. And when you have that, we'll have you back in here, and we can talk about it. Okay. <laughs> It'll be just fun. Just a closing note? Yeah. Uh, for a closing note, before they went on the air, Billy asked Topher, what's the lowest <laughs> note he could play oh. on oh, his tuba? <laughs> what do you say? What would you play for us? No. And that would be a good closing note. Right. The, the lowest note on the tuba. Literally, well, note. not, no, you can play lower, I just can't. Yeah. <laughs> there's, this is a pedal note, there's double pedal notes, which are scary. Not, not, not easy to play. I'll try to find it. How loud do you do that? <coughs> <laughs> 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 Woo! Yeah. Oh, that is so great. That is so great. Okay, folks, you're listening to Busker Broadcast. I'm Abbott Spoon Lady. Billy Scribbles is here. We got John Gilman. We have we have King Q. Yep. Well, you can find us on Facebook uh, for Busker Broadcast. You can learn about Asheville Street Performing from the Asheville Buskers Collective, which is also on Facebook. You can also find um, us on WPVMFM.org or SpoonLadyMusic.com. Um, and that's our show. Um, please, if yeah, <laughs> take it or leave it. <laughs> If you're interested in being part of this broadcast, find the Spoon Lady uh, and let her know. Or um, you can also find Billy Scribbles. He will be out and about. If you don't know who he is, there's tons of pictures of him on the Spoon Lady page and on the Buskers Collective page because he is a very active, <laughs> active person. Um, hyperactive. Hyperactive <laughs> person. Borderline ADHD. <laughs> 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 hey, it's okay. No, it's true. I can relate. It's that's, okay. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, good night, folks. Or good evening. Have a great dinner. Have a safe drive home. And, Friday night.